Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the Art & Luthery Legacy Concert Hall Denim Limited. Part of the Godin family of guitars, Art & Luthery are made in Canada and the Legacy series is an attempt to catch the vibe and feel of some vintage blues and folk guitars. The Concert Hall Legacy features a solid spruce top, laminate wild cherry back and sides, a silver leaf maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard, a scale length of 24.84 inches and a graph tech tusk nut with a string spacing of 1.72 inches. It has a rosewood bridge with a tusk saddle and comes in a semi-gloss patina finish in limited edition denim blue. The woods used are 95% Canadian sourced and the guitar is available for £409 in the UK. The concert legacy definitely looks the part with its satin finish and overall retro look so let's have a listen to the guitar now and then come back afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of the guitar is that the denim colour is very well named. It really does look like a well-worn faded pair of jeans. But the purloid scratch plate is a nice contrast to that and also the dark binding around the top of the guitar and the dark stain on the neck really contrasts with the blue finish as well. So overall it's a really nice package. The guitar is very well put together. It's quite a basic build so there's not lots of fancy inlay to admire. But overall the finish is very well applied and the inside of the box is neat and clean so just generally it just feels like a very solid guitar. The tone is balanced with an open top end, woody bass and a characterful honkiness to the mid-range. It responds well to playing dynamics with a fair amount of headroom for a small body guitar but it also has a nice attack to softer played notes. It's quite a dry sounding guitar so there's not a lot of overtones present but it does have a down to earth and honest sound that matches its looks. That slight honkiness in the mids that I mentioned gives the guitar a fullness and body when you're playing fingerstyle. And it also fills out the gaps between the bass and the treble when you're strumming without dominating the sound. So the guitar keeps its character through different styles of playing. The action is a little high at both the nut and the 12th fret, which is a shame because I think the guitar would play really nicely if that action came down a bit. The neck is a comfortable D shape that sits in the hand and the slightly shorter than standard scale length does mean that the string tension is lower. So that does help with playability, but really the icing on the cake for me would be if that action was just a tiny bit lower. There's plenty of room for adjustment on the saddle, so with that in mind I think it's probably worth seeking out a retailer with a good workshop who can set the guitar up to your liking. And to be fair, that's good advice when it comes to purchasing any guitar and shouldn't be applied to just this model. I think this guitar would be perfect for those players working in the blues and folk genres. The small body would make it comfortable to play for extended periods and so I think that combined with the inspiring sound would mean any writers out there are bound to get some new songs out of this guitar. I think the dryness of tone would work for singers too because it's not dominating the sound field and gives you plenty of space for your voice. 
And I also think that bark in the mids would be a great match for slide guitar. £409 for a Canadian made guitar made out of locally sourced woods seems like a really good deal to me. And I think it's particularly impressive that we have guitars at this price point that have their own character and their own feel and aren't just you know, slavish copies of other designs. If I could change one thing about this guitar, I'd like it to have a lower action, but that's easily changed by any guitar tech. Overall though, I really enjoyed the playing experience of this guitar. And I think the denim finish is a really cool touch as well. Much like your favourite pair of jeans, I think this guitar with its slightly worn in feel would very quickly become comfortable and familiar. And it also has a great sound as well, so very inspiring guitar to play. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and follow us on social media to be kept up to date with new videos. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.